In this video we continue with Spring Data JDBC and many-to-many -many relationships. First we are going to briefly look at the data in the database tables. This is the database we used in the Spring Security video series. We have the authorities table with three authorities. The users table with three users. And the users authorities table with the relations. Now we can go over all the files that are important in this tutorial. First we have the users entity for the users table. This entity is all the fields of the database table and a field for the set authorities. Then the author radius entity with all the fields of the authorities table. Finally we have the user's authorities record, with an aggregate reference pointing to the authorities ID field. In the user's repository we have a custom repository method, which searches all users with an authority ID. In the authorities repository we have a similar method, but now we are looking for a list of authorities with a user's ID. To bring everything together we have a user's details record, with a user's field and a list of authorities. And an authorities details record with an authorities field and a list of users. In the service classes we bring the users and authorities together. In the users service class we have the get users details. Here we first load the user by ID, and then use the custom query from the authorities repository to load all the authorities that belong to these users. In the new users details we bring everything together. In the authorities service we do the same but in reverse. First load the authority and then the list of users belonging to this authority. In the authority details we bring everything together. Finally we have the controller classes. In the users controller we have a get users details return the users details of the users service class. In the authorities controller class we have a get authorities details method which returns the authorities details of the authorities service class. We can now start the project and see what we see in the browser. In the browser window, we first test user with ID1. We see all the fields of the user and all authorities belonging to this user. We can also look briefly at the user with ID2. Again we see all fields of the user and the authorities that belong to this user. In the second window we see the authority with ID1. Again we see all the fields of this authority and all users belonging to this authority. This is it for today. In all the previous videos we only loaded data from the database, in the next videos we will continue to create new data and update and delete data. Thanks a lot!